Good afternoon, friends. Stephen Benoon with Israeli News Live. If you guys recall, I give you a message just not too long ago here that there would be something that would take place in the Middle East there that could potentially spark a third world war. Now, I don't say that this is the issue as of right now, but uh, we are getting reports in that Iran, as you can see, have fired in rockets uh, near the... Um, actually, let me pull that up where we can see what this is. Uh, near the uh, near the U.S. Uh, base in Iraq, and uh, the, we're getting several reports on that as of right now. There, there's another video here of it, and um, so we're trying to cover this the best we can here as of right now, just to share some of that with you there. Uh, so the situation is definitely going to continue to increase uh, the tensions that are happening there in the Middle East there. Uh, and of course, you know, we're really looking to see, you know, this is, this is definitely going to escalate without, without a doubt. But you know, what's interesting is that Israel and Russia, right? Um, we have, we are finding that, uh, Naftali Bennett is going to be, you're going to find him heading up peace negotiations with Russia over Ukraine and eventually what we see happening or at least what we're thinking is going to happen is is that uh, Russia will end up handing over Ukraine to uh, Israel as far as uh, basically allowing them to take control of it once Russia has already done it. Uh, Naftali Bennett of Israel advises Zelensky to surrender to Russia, perhaps if Israel is attacked. <laughs> oh gosh, I haven't heard that one yet. But anyway, I'm trying to look to see if I can find any more of this on there for you. Russia has been open to holding negotiations with Ukraine in Jerusalem. This is the one we were looking for right here I wanted to share with you. Uh, a senior diplomatic source said on Saturday, soon after Prime Minister Naftali Bennett and Ukrainian President uh, Vladimir Zelensky spoke on the phone. So that's what the Jerusalem Post is speaking about. Uh, but we know that there is going, the war is going to spread. It's going to get larger. It's going to get bigger. But this whole idea of Russia in negotiations about Ukraine in Jerusalem lets you know that Israel is going to end up taking over Ukraine. Russia may conquer it, but Israel end up taking it over. You wait. There's no doubt that that's what's coming. But again, of course, the breaking news that we're trying to cover with you guys right now is this whole issue going on in Iraq, or excuse me, yeah, in Iraq there, uh, U.S. base there, or, or well, uh, coming under attack uh, by allegedly Iranian forces there. Now, we've not heard anything about Iran taking up that. Uh, by the way, you can look at the top of the screen here, many, many biblical verses open here. I'll be preparing, I'm preparing the video for uh, some very interesting biblical things I want to share with you. And I, I'm hoping I can also do the one for Patreon uh, as well. So I'll just have to wait to see how that goes there. Anyway, Stephen Benoon with Israeli News Live. Thank you for listening and thank you for your support of this broadcast.